First up for you tonight at 5.30, the latest on the coronavirus. Our state continues to have some of the best numbers in the country when it comes to COVID-19. But some cities and towns in our state are noticing an uptick among teenagers. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live with the mobile newsroom in Cheshire, where the cases are really on the rise. Matt. Well, you know, Aaron and Mark, it was expected that you would see some cases when kids were heading back to school, uh, but they say not connected to the classroom. Um, so basically uh, here, the health district is reminding folks, you know, they need to be careful. They need to continue wearing those masks, especially when they're at homes and on the weekends, uh, because they say that's when it can get in trouble. Heading home from school, most kids leaving Cheshire High have their masks on, even if they'd love to lose them. Teenagers, you know, masks, these are annoying. But juniors Kevin D'Erico and Aman Chaudhry say it's just one of the many steps they're taking, not just for themselves, but also for others. I could say for myself and my yeah. friends, you know, we always... Always got the masks on. Masks on. Staying safe, washing our hands. But there are concerns others might be getting lax. The Chesapeake Health District, which covers Cheshire, Prospect, and Woolcott, says it's seeing an uptick in COVID cases amongst teens and young adults in Cheshire compared to every other age group. Half were asymptomatic and didn't even know they were positive. As for how they got it, contact tracing revealed positive family members getting together with family and friends or attending sporting events. I haven't heard of any large gatherings. I mean, I'm still hoping we have a hockey season this year, but never know. In an update to the community, the local health director says, I truly believe that people were letting their guard down and started spending more time with others where they did not practice social distancing. We know that not practicing social distancing will increase your chances of contracting the disease if you're around an infectious person. And it's an issue across Connecticut. We are seeing it throughout our town. Young people are not wearing the mask. I know it's hard, they're kids, and they think they're invincible. So it's really incumbent upon parents to, to reiterate these things to their children, that it's important. Fairfield's first select woman says six high schoolers in town recently tested positive, and they're connecting them to a number of large gatherings over the weekend. Now they say up to 100 people could end up having to quarantine. Protect those you love. Don't go out into these large public gatherings. Limit your contact because it's your family that you're putting at risk. And these health districts across the state say it's obvious the virus is still here in Connecticut. And they say the easiest way you can get infected with it is by being in close contact with others. So again, they are stressing, reminding folks to continue to wear their masks, social distance the six feet, and again, to avoid those large gatherings. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Cheshire. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.